I guess perhaps it seems to me that sort of maybe there's a difference here, or maybe you guys can speak to this, between sort of jobs inside or outside the academy. Because I, you know, um, I think Ms. Keynes, you're talking about jobs inside the academy or both. The, I think our the two our two uh, engineer types, you know, we're talking about like you know working with governments, working you know practically on these issues outside the academy. My sense of it certainly from York, at least I'm also at York, is that perhaps the academies are perhaps a little bit behind, maybe in the sense that you know the the, the course structure, the teaching structure is still, I mean, York has an interdisciplinary faculty, although not at the doctoral level yet. You know, we have the humanities, which is sort of interdisciplinary, but on the whole, and, but in UBC, as far as I know, are the only ones, you know, actually have that structure formalized. You know, it, mostly the teaching structure is still very discipline bound, so if you don't have the credentials to teach in a particular discipline, you can't get a job there, and you know, it's one of the things I, I sort of think, I'm a master's student now, I'm sort of thinking, you know, what do you do with a degree in the humanities? Do you, do you teach in the humanities or do you write novels? You know? <laughs> so I, I'm wondering if maybe part of it has to do with sort of, yeah, the fact that the, 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 the more practical jobs outside the academy are a little bit ahead in that way, that they are looking for interdisciplinary precisely because they're looking for applied practical solutions to problems that really can't be solved from within one discipline, whereas there's still that sort of um, uh, medieval structure from you know, inside the academy where you're looking to teach within a particular, someone used the word canon of, uh, of knowledge and of methods, and I think there's, you know, there's still that lingering notion of canon. Um, I, I would say I, I worked like uh, at a in a municipal in the municipality region for a few years, and I I have seen that you know like, it does seem like they are sometimes ahead because they are different like there are different people that come together like for my example, but at the same time there is a lot of territoriality that they give to their own own places. So like for instance the when we were working on. Uh, development of a sewer line, the city planners had no part of it. They did not want to put this in, but the engineers said, or oh, it has to be in there. Like these people need it. And you know you you sometimes get get uh, issues that are so polarized that it, it becomes very hard to become this interdisciplinary because they don't refuse to refuse to see and then you have a then you have a, a public aspect to it because the public they are there are many disciplines, right? They so they each have their own kind of thing they can bring to the table. But I think it's hard to say that maybe the, uh, uh, the private sector or whatever's not in academia is ahead of the game because there is still issues that need to address. The people, like I said, there are interdisciplinary projects, but it does not mean interdisciplinary thoughts are coming out. It just means that there, it's becoming more of a multidisciplinary thing, if you want to put it in that context. And multidisciplinary just means that there's just, you know, they're all in their little boxes, but not making the whole bike kind of thing. So, <laughs> but, you know, but so you got to be careful of how, you know, maybe how we're or who we're actually looking at for actually a good example. And I, as an engineer, I'm always looking for, you know, someone who is starting to exhibit these things or something that, or a group that's trying to do it because those, those are people that have. Are starting to wrestle with these things, and I think we need to find um, like through these projects that are going on. There's many that are starting around the world. It's just, these are uh, this is a good example to see if it's like if this if our, if our mind frame is working. You know, is this bike actually moving, or is it just staying because no one is actually on the on the, the whole back? So exactly. we'll uh, take a comment from Michelle and then we'll take one from the back. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, Rebecca, when you started off, you sort of uh, alluded to this. It's, it's interdisciplinary is very cachet. So I think we have to make a distinction between interdisciplinarity as cachet and, and actual interdisciplinarity. So while you say, you know, 
they're looking for people yeah, with interdisciplinary. That doesn't mean that the thing doing they're is posting that they're looking for people with interdisciplinary yeah. skills, but they're looking for people who have credentials, and you credentialize yourself in a different way, maybe. And so I think uh, I want to tie this back to something Nick said right at the start. You know, the the material restrictions part. I mean, you gain credentials as academics uh, by well, what's, what's the spectacle involved in academia, right? It's all about um, selling yourself through uh, specific actions or specific events, and, you know, being at conferences, <laughs> and probably not our interdisciplinary conference, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> you know, so that's how you create spectacle, and, and we get there, I mean, it, it's measured by people who are within disciplines still. So, you know, they can say they're looking for interdisciplinarity, but they're not really, are they? I don't know, but that's what I'm going to throw here. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree, because that's one of the things um, that when I see postings, and I even see, I mean, one of my, I, I took cultural studies in my undergrad, and that's probably as interdisciplinary as you can get. There are a ton of different moves that happen within that particular area that, I mean, it's inherently suspicious of disciplines, and early on all of us were like, wow, what we're doing here is so contradictory, but, you know, we're doing it, and my professors just, you know, a lot of them saying, I hate that word, I hate that word interdisciplinary, because I don't, like, they, they see the cachet, and they see the way it's been mobilized by, you know, people in power, and so I've become really suspicious, like, are you talking about, you know, I'm willing to work with other Areas, you know, like I, I can, you know, I'll work over here, sure, no problem, but I still have what's going on here, you know. So there's this, you know, this really odd sort of relationship going on there, and I, I really, I really struggle with the idea of it being possible within the university, in the sense that it, like, you could, you could have a visual artist doing an engineering degree, you know, or you could have something like that happening. I mean, the other thing too is that there's, there's more distance between, say, what I'm doing and what, say, you're doing in engineering than, say, maybe what somebody was doing in history or somebody was doing. So there's there's also greater distances between certain areas as well that I think are really um, troubling. So, yeah. Um, big question. Okay. <coughs> I was kind of follows on from Bill's question as well. Um, I want to take advantage of the fact that we have a really diverse panel from across campus, because from my personal experience, um, from an engineering background, I get the sense that some of those pieces of the bicycle with the funding problem maybe have more freedom than others. And I want to see, get your, your take on that. I was looking to do a master's in something completely different and was advised to stay within, within engineering, but still unable to dabble in other things. So are there specific pieces of the bicycle that are more able to expand? Um, and then, if so, are we missing those important connections that are a key component of that bigger picture? Well, according to Sherkin, you're doing something business-related, yes. <laughs> 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 I 